Good morning. I am going to be listing this tropical quilted junk journal on Etsy. So I wanted to do a flip through. Now the fabric is, there's chipboard, but it's still mobile, moldable in here. And it has some tropical flowers, but the theme isn't exactly tropical. It's birds and ladies, rushing dancing books, music of course, lots of little different things. So let's start, let's start at the beginning. So there are some large magnets in there and that keeps it closed. You could do a scrap of fabric around it and then you could add yourself a tassel if you wanted. I'm just thinking this is good for me to let it go out of my shop. Thick lace here, hidden spine. So there is a fabric covered piece of chipboard here, thicker chipboard that is not moldable. It's pretty stiff. And then eyelets and then you just, plenty of YouTube videos on that. Little bit of smuts, okay. So there are some Christian themes in here. This is from a little prayer book. And I used, uh, or I found at a rummage sale, a Thomas Kincaid puzzle that they knew it was missing some pieces, but I thought that would be perfect just to add them. So they're all over here. This would be a perfect place to add a little something right here. Let's see what I have. This is just an envelope, coin envelope. You can get a whole bunch of them on Amazon for next to nothing. And I just covered it up. And that might look okay there. And then it would be hidden by this. It may not be bright enough to pop. So we'll see what we have. You just add something, some little something. This looks pretty good. This is from a My Porch Prince kit. Probably just something extra I had. If I laid that down and made it where you could open it and have a secret place, that still doesn't really pop. But I do have something else. And this kind of match. Whoa, that's too big. It's going to cover up. But that's a nice card. So you just look, you just keep looking. Just keep looking. That is pretty there. And then we can make it as a pocket and put something in there. So if we're gonna make it as a pocket, I want my little pocket indicator. <laughs> my half circle. And I've removed the plastic piece there so that I can look and see. And there are lines. I am not always good at getting in the lines. Okay. Get rid of this and we'll save this for later. Put the journal to the side. I have two of them I'm working on right now. This big chunk will be going up soon as well. And instead of having one of those high dollar glass mats, I just got a cutting mat from the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, works just fine. I'm gonna use some Distress Socks up. Lots of, oof, so much color. Yeah. Do, do, do. So it was in the 90s. Last week, we're in May. 2022 
and today is very chilly something happened so i am dug out a old flannel shirt just to keep me warm okay let's see this is sponge sugar that was actually my sponge sugar dauber to take some of the white off. Alright. Crash, crash. So if you don't like these little lines, it is distress oxide. We'll see what that does. Get a piece of towel. smooths it out. Okay. It does tilt quite a bit. We have so much stuff in here. Okay, so there's some tall tags could go in there. And I'm gonna use my art glitter glue to put this on here. Just don't wanna do that. I recently sold one of my junk drawers. I've sold probably 15 or 20 on Etsy, but the lady that bought one, my most recent one, she, I put it on sale because I thought this, I gotta make room for more. So I put it on sale and she messaged me. She said, I know you hated to part with it because it had so many treasures, but Really, you just want them to find a good home, somebody that will continue to add to it. All right, so we'll find something tall to go in here. Kind of Christmassy. We may fold that over, put a grommet and some ribbon here off camera. We'll try that or cut it down. All right. Have some tags, just a little writing space, mushroom, collage tag. Thomas Kincaid puzzle, some cheesecloth, and then a biblical verse from Hebrews. That doesn't need anything extra there. And a pocket here. And this is the, you'll recognize this from Tim Holtz, an embellishment or an that's not right. Emboss folder. A little collage card. Some more cards with trim sewn on them. And this I made into a little book with some coffee dyed paper. I coffee dye on my own paper in the oven. And then I ironed it to make it where you can write on it. So that goes in there. And the thing about this, when you get this, take stuff out and go through and 
rearrange, look for your own writing space. More from a Russian dance instruction book. Little treasures in here. This is just a little tiny paper sack. Get those on Amazon as well. Fold it in half. Then you have a little pocket here and a pocket there. You'll be able to see the other side. Get some little tags. This is from a paper pad. Some Tim Holtz words. Write little things on there and then you can just tie them up with some sorry silk. Some tags here. More tags. Has writing space there. Some Tim Holtz paper and the three layer bulb pen. So you write just a little secret date and something that happened on that tag. It's got punch out letters, dream. And another one, some sewn stuff. And sorry, silk. More pockets. Teacup. This is actually from a little book that I found. Wax begonias. This lifts up. There's some paper in here. Holds that down. Some more little writing paper. Does it open? Yep. And a little teacup. Put a picture there. Writing. Flip up. Little happy married couple about to drive off. This is from a book I got at Cracker Barrel that has all these little prayers. This has side pockets and two top pockets. That's not a pocket, but this is a pocket. This is a pocket. And this one pocket. Two cards. <laughs> that has some paper on the back and then a playing card and then this is from just your hardware store with a punch down the side some paper on the back to create a large pocket Getting a little off center and he doesn't want to come out. There we go. There we go. So he goes in there. This is, I think, a German book or foreign language. And then this was the other end of this. But here I just opened it up to make a deeper pocket. You could paste something right there. Paste something right there. I don't want to fill it completely so that you have room to add to it. Sorry, Silk. Some 
longer cards, just roughly cut. Okay, so now we're going to get to adding this piece. This was a folio, and I will link the person's video that has this. They have a great kit on Etsy. This is from a kit on Etsy that I've embellished and followed her video. So this makes a pocket for this tag. And then this goes right inside here. Let me see while I have my computer up. If I can remember, I'm very bad about not remembering where they came from. But there's four currently. She's going to probably do more little folios. Very easy. So this has everything in her kit that you need to create this. Little tags go in here. So all that's in her kit. And then this. And it has a tag right there. And of course, she has writing space right back there. Pink Monarch Prints is the name of her YouTube channel and Etsy store, Pink Monarch Prints. And this, I love little kits where everything is included and then you just add your own sewing, fabric strips, sari silk charms, grommets. So this, and she has wonderful ideas on how you can further embellish it to make it your own instead of just putting it together. So this will glue right here and become a pocket for this card right here, which is a card a pocket within a card within a pocket. Okay, so let's glue this down. So we want to not glue this side. <laughs> Before I forget. Okay. And I'll make it where it will really stay on there and it's on a page that I had collaged several different book pages music and I'm gonna put it pretty close to the edge Dictionary pages under here. This might actually look good right here. That's a real good contrast right there. So we can glue that right there. I prefer to just fold my pages, make my signatures, then add items to the pages. Coming back afterward is not my 
preferred method after they've been sewn in because you get bulky then you get lumps where you're trying to glue over and then that will go in here but we will just leave him right there and or her and this needs something right there look good in there and it's blank okay so stick that calendar in there and what else that won't go but that would go behind it like that okay so I'll save that out be a surprise if we put something right there or make it my book of stuff let's see what do we want to put on there it's kind of a butterfly oh Kind of blends in too much. That kind of blends in too much. I so want something that really pops. So there's a butterfly going to be peeking out over here. So let's see. Oh, I have these on my Etsy shop. Do I? No, these are Tim Holtz. But I have baseball cards. Baseball themed ABC. But I need to get a cutout and put in my book. Hmm. Here we go. Put that on there. this look better. Put that down and that will fit but this one won't but this one would go inside. It kind of fits. So okay. And that's a good contrast. Okay. Here we go. And you know what? Maybe just because I discovered it in my little book. Maybe a clock. Here we go. Alright, so we're going to put this right there. This top piece was just a paper pad, thin paper, not cardstock, paper pad that I found at Walmart. 
and it had cork wine bottles and wine country kind of thing that I thought that's a cork piece right there so now we're gonna glue this but then this has to be low enough so that if this fits in here that can still poke and then you could actually use this to hold that shut Alrighty. So, here we go Okay, so we have some this will go behind it, right? This will go inside when it's dry. And that will hold down, so we need to glue this on three sides. So I'd like to know in the comments if you make journals or collect journals or both. And let's put this over here. And do you do you add to you to them? Do you not touch them? Do you leave them just intact the way the artist made them? You take everything out and put it back in. I'd like to know. Okay, so then this is gonna go right in there. Okay, so let's see if this is dry. Yes, pink monarch prints. There are four. So far, kits, and then that's going to hang off, that's going to hang off, beautiful. Okay, more space to write on. Since we have this out, that's awful cute, and then that would make a pocket right there. Oh, I'm getting thicker, thicker into the weeds here. This was going to be a flip through, but I can't stop adding to it. Okay, that will be a pocket. And then I'm going to add a lot of glue on the back just to keep it secure. really want this to stay secure. This is uh, my porch prints guest check. We'll fit in there. So let's get some sorry silk. Um, where's my sorry silk? Okay, right here. We 
and that's pink right there. So let's do something not pink. Blue. Just for something to stand out. Stand out. I always go front to back. There we go. Cute, cute, cute. You could put a little note on there. Put the date. Had lunch with so-and-so. She got the shrimp. I got the Mahi Mahi, it was so nice to see her. I haven't seen her in forever. Just put a little note. Let's see. And this one has a little bell on it, a couple of little beads. So I put that on this one. Right through there. There's that. Let's see. I already have this. Could put that right there. And I'm going to use my fabric tap. Oh, how do you stop? How do you stop? When is it enough? Here, I'm going to create another pocket, looks like. Pocket, pocket. need some little tiny things. That's gonna whoop, slide over, slide over, stretch. Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna take a minute to dry. So let's just take a peek at what else we have in here. Writing space, end of the first signature just two signatures in here but they're pretty pretty full and this let's get this out of the way and that flips open and here's another paint chip on a Coffee dyed index card. And then a little card. Oh, lots of lots of treasures in there. A little glassine bag with something in there. Card in there. Has to be short so that it will fit in here. Which side? Okay, this side. This side? Yes. And I didn't want to use my hole punch on this because it's got the name of the paint. Renaissance Tapestry. That is so pretty. Okay. Where was this? Is that in there? Another. This is a digital kit from somebody else. So there's that. And this comes off the 
page. And it's just a book. So that goes on the page. Holds this down. Okay. And you could put something up there to hide it. Hide it with this. More tags. Oh. Naked gift check. Let's see. If something. Let's go ahead. Ooh, that's pretty random. It works. Was also wondering if junk journal makers that are new to the junk journal making world I would like to put together and there are other people that are putting together physical packs of all this stuff and you just put it together I'd like to know if that's something people would want to do just have it all right there and you assemble it. Oh, this silk is strong. It is stronger than my pin. Okay, so we will go this way. We'll just go the path of least resistance. If you'd want a bunch of stuff that would just be all together, all inclusive, like a resort, you just sit there and put it together. And then you can sell it if you want. Oh, yeah. We'll keep it, give it away. Let's see, I always get these where they don't hang the right way, so let me try. Is that gonna hang? Oh. Okay. I've tried using their little jump rings. I just don't have the dexterity. Easy, easy bolt, bold pin. Here's some more. My porch prints, of course. And then. Flip out, coffee dyed paper, and in the back are some very thick pages for collage that would hold up to putting a photograph on there. These are some large tags that I sewed an envelope on, put paper inside, and they'll go down in here. And that's it. So this will go, once I stick something in there, on my Etsy shop, which is the Dodd Group, the D O D D Group. I'll just add this little stamp to this bag. Two cent stamp that fell out of a book I bought at the library bookstore. So here you go. What do you think? And then we need some little tiny things in there. There's a little tiny, tiny stuff. Tim Holtz. 
throw with some Tim Holtz in there. And you can decorate those the way you want them. I'll add another Tim. Just to have some cohesion there. Well, mm, it covers up my guest checks. Oh, we'll find a place to put this one since I showed it. awful cute. It's just several pieces of fabric sewn together with embroidery floss. Not this one. And then we can glue it right there with Fabri-Tac. Alright, I'm going to do that off camera and watch for my listing. And I'm going to put the video link through so if you're finding the listing first which is probably more the case please go through and flip through and know that I can't stop I just have probably added way more stuff than will really really fit too big but if you fold it in half that would go in that pocket right there okay so it'll happen it'll happen I'll get it done and I'll get it up Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.